Hi, this is Bob Krauss from Physical Facilities. And I'm going to take you through the steps of creating a service request in our new system. Uh, first of all, you need to point your browser to fifac.mst.edu forward slash work request. And in doing so, you're going to get to this page here. To create a service request, you just click on this link here, submit a ticket online, and it brings you to the Maximo system. This is the system where you will create that service request. You'll log in using your network user and uh, password, your credentials, and in doing so it'll bring you to this screen here. This is where you can view a service request, create a service request, and also on the right hand side is a bulletin board which may have some helpful information or some updates that we want you to know about. Right at this time we're going to go ahead and create a service request. So I'll click there and this is the service request form. You'll notice that some things are automatically filled in. My username, my phone number, my email, also my location which is generally where we work so this one is my office first of all what we need to do is identify what kind of work we need done I'm going to simulate having a leak under the sink in the break room of our building so I know that I'm going to need a plumber so where it says failure code here I'm going to go ahead and click the magnifying glass and choose the type of service I need now I know that I need a plumber so I'm going to go ahead and choose this but there are other choices if you need a estimate for some construction if you need landscape services custodial services uh, key core changes for your doors elevator maintenance um, or moving services sound and stage things of that sort those are all available for you here but I need a plumber today so I'm going to go ahead and click this now, my leak is not in my office. It's under the sink in the break room. So I need to change this location here. I have a helpful tip here for you uh, right above this that says to change the location, delete the current location from the field below, then click the double chevron and choose the drill, do uh, the drill down dialog. So we're going to go ahead and click here that selects it, press the delete key, and then I'm going to press this button here, which is a detail menu and gives me my drill down. Now drill down is a tree of the campus and the buildings and the floors and the rooms. Very much like you chose back in the old system. Here um, I am going to scroll down and find general services building which is where my leak is. There's general services and I'm going to click the plus sign. Now it brings me the floors. Uh, my room is on the first floor so I'm going to click the plus sign again and that brings me to the rooms that are on the first floor I'm going to go ahead and choose this break room right here and choosing the break room I do that by clicking the blue box and you'll notice that it brings that location and that description up into my uh, field here for location now I'm going to go ahead and summarize what my issue is I have about 250 characters worth of uh, space in order to do so. So I can go ahead and summarize my issue. And at this point, I can go ahead and submit. Uh, there is another uh, option, and that's uh, I can add an attachment. Let's say I have a document or a photo or something that I need that's going to help the uh, uh, facilities person um, have a better idea or know what to do or be able to help me out better. Uh, let's say I took a picture of the leak under the sink. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attach a file and I'm going to click the browse button here to go find it. And here you can see I have, um, I'm going to choose this one here, is a picture of the leak under my sink. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that, click open. 
If you want to put a name or some kind of description here, you can do that. You don't have to. It's not required, but you can go ahead and put something in if you'd like. And press OK. And here it shows up underneath here. This is not required, but it is, again, if you want to add a little extra information, uh, help them out. Uh, so they know what tools to bring, how big of a leak it is, et cetera, et cetera. Um, once I'm finished creating my service request, I can click on Submit. And that's basically it. I've submitted my service request. Everything's good. Now, at this point, I can go about my day. I can log off uh, by using the sign out selection here. I can also view the service requests that I have and what their status is. So I can go here, view service request. I just want to show this to you. And you can see here, I've done a lot of tests. I've got a lot of leaks. But here's the, the latest one. I have a leak under the seat in the break room, number 1129. Here's my location. Sure enough, that was today at 9 o'clock. And uh, I noticed it got processed. So I can go in here if I'd like and take a look at the information. It's not really much going on. Not really much to look at except for what I've already filled out. I can go ahead and at this point, I can either create another service request or I can just sign out. So I'm going to go ahead and sign out. I successfully signed out, and that's it. Thank you so much for viewing.